Okay, this is so exciting. The trailer got some upgrades. I've been working hard all day since the bike was slow this morning. So I got my little solar lights in. Those will look super cute. When it's dark. Let me show you what else I did. Got my cute little happy camper sign back up. And got better screws to hold that one up. So that looks good. A little hummingbird came and checked out my lights before. How cute is that? I need to get this filled up because... Kitchen! How cool. So that's going to be going away in its case, but I have to get some propane for the big permanent one right there. That's going to be the portable one. But I have my table. I put up my wind chimes. So pretty. Put up my bird house, bird feeder. Let's hope something comes for that. This is my kitchen floor. So cute, huh? So nice, you don't even want to step on it. And then this beautiful new camp chef sitting in the shade. I got the cutting board on the one side. I got the other shelf down. Then I have cooking sprays, pots, pans, everything like that right in there. Look how nice that is. The creek is right behind it, so you listen to the creek, it's just beautiful. Then I got this hung up for water. That'll make it real easy to do dishes. My little white tail, chilling right there from New Jersey. And that's about it. I love these new modifications. I mean, look at this. I literally have an outdoor kitchen. People pay big bucks for this stuff at their home, an outdoor kitchen. So this is all the garbage that I need to get rid of from the uh, from setting up the camp chef, they, those were all in those boxes. I have my orca podster, everything's organized back here. I have my chairs that I'll put over in my kitchen. And then I have my shower stuff and this blue one in the bottom. And my, um, and my camp chef cases and like roller bags in that black one. Rancho El Rey, baby. Love it, gotta get rid of that garbage and we're looking good. Hello kitchen. Oh my gosh, it's so dreamy. I love it. Inside I organized everything in here. I have oatmeal and breakfast items on this side. This was a mess before. I have straws and canned goods and rice on that side. Oh, there's more straws. Then I have all my cups and bowls in here. And I have um and I have snacks and like packable foods, Mountain Ops, and backup milks in there. I also set up these beautiful new lights. Check them out. Ah, that will look so cute at night on the inside. I have some of these on the outside too. And then look at these nice lights. Those are going to be so bright in the evening. Got one there. And I have one there. So that'll help light up everything because I still have the lights from the original remodel up there. Let's see, what else did I do? I just organized a lot. It looks good. Now that sink's empty so I can actually start using that sink for brushing my teeth and stuff. Won't need to go outside. Look, I cleaned my elk ivories from my first ever elk. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There it goes. How pretty are they? I'm gonna send that in. Uh, I believe it's called Jensen Jewelers. I've been in contact with a guy named Eric who's going to be making this into a gold elk ivory necklace. Why can't I get it to focus? Oh well, you guys get the idea. A gold elk ivory necklace. So these are the ivories from my first elk. You suck at focusing camera. There you go. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh. So it's going to sit like this and wrapped in gold. It's going to look so nice. So I cleaned those up. Just used water and a toothbrush. Now they're ready to be sent in. Hey guys, I'm all waitered up. Uh, I planned on flow tubing another spot. But when I got there, there were tons of people there. Um, 
spinning rod fishermen that just got off work and I've seen their work trucks around town before they all work for the same company and have the same decals so they were having a little fishing party they pulled up like five minutes after I did but they literally surrounded the lake so fast and I was like I'm not dealing with this I'm just gonna go somewhere else you guys know that I like to fish alone most of the time and uh so last minute decision, it left me with like 30 minutes of daylight left by the time I got somewhere. So I decided to fish a river that I might be guiding on later in the week. So I just pulled up to the river, like I said, about 30 minutes of daylight left. I'm gonna leave my camera here, just take my GoPro and my phone. So let's hope I catch something, right? Am I right? Let's go. Fishing. Maybe this is why I hate rivers. I just hate walking on this stuff. I don't hate rivers, I just like lakes better. I'd rather kick around on my tube than walk around slippery rocks. Oh my God. I just hooked the monster and my net is all the way up here. Oh my God, I got my net. Oh. Please let me land him. I'm on light line. I saw him feeding. Thought to myself, he, that is a big brown trout. So I cast it to him and he didn't eat. So I switched flies and he ate. Please, I hope I land him. I don't catch big browns a lot. And I'm in like muck. He is like right to the bottom. Shoot, I hope he's not stuck on something. He is stuck on something. Oh, he broke free. Oh my gosh, it's moss. This is gonna be very hard. This is very hard. I'm on light line and he just brought up a lot of moss. That's what he's stuck in. Oh, I wish it wasn't so muddy. There he comes. Wish it wasn't so muddy right here. I'd get out there more, but it's like that sinking mud. He's a good brown. Look at that. That is beautiful. That's a good brown. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay, caught him on a caddis. Hold on, buddy. He hammered that. I'm just gonna destroy my fly now, getting it out of his mouth. There we go. Oh my gosh, look at him. It's a beauty. He's heavy, you guys. This is a wide angle lens. You can't see, but he's got some meat to him. See that? Okay, letting him go. That was so cool, you guys. Caught him on this little caddis because there's a caddis hatch going off like crazy. So cool. I had less than 30 minutes of light left. I did not think I was going to catch a solid brown. That was awesome. See if I can land it. I don't want to get in that mud again. That sucks. Oh. Come on, buddy. Don't moss me now. That was so cool. I literally just did a little wimpy cast. It's just a little one. Just to see if there was a fish behind the rock. And sure enough, there was. So cool little, but healthy. Look at that. That's awesome. Thanks, bud. 
We'll get you on your way. That was fun. Do you guys see the bugs everywhere? Lots of them, huh? So unfortunately I hopped out of the river and now I'm at a point where because of like another little part of the river but that's solid muck, I can't get back in. So I'm gonna end it there. Like I said, I literally had 30 minutes of light. I have 8% battery on my GoPro and I caught a stud. You can't beat that. All right guys, I made it back to the truck. That was so fun for such a short little section. Literally just fished the tiniest little section of the river, pretty much three runs. And in those two runs, I was able to connect on fish and that was so cool. So fun on caddis dry fly. There's caddis everywhere. Gosh, what a cool hatch that's going off. It's just about dark now. I'm gonna head back and probably make some dinner on the camp chef, but some kind of bug out there he ate me alive. I looked around for my bug spray when I got here and I was impatient and I couldn't find it. So I put on Brookie's cat bug spray. Let me tell you, it does not work for humans. I can't see how it could work for Brookie. Now I kind of feel bad because I am torn up. Got me all over my neck and my arms. Yikes. I don't think it was mosquitoes either. I think it was those gnats that bite because I just saw a swarm of them. Crazy. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm not sure where I'm going to end the video, maybe here. But as you guys know, please subscribe. It helps me out a ton. I'm trying my best to put out videos, and I really appreciate all your comments and when you like the videos and subscribe. Someone told me on a recent video that I should tell people to ring the bell. It gives them notifications when I upload. I didn't know that, but that's pretty cool. So if you're down for that, ring that bell. That would be awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.